All right, on thing 82, BEC 75, reg 79. <gasps> <gasps> Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is June 19th. It's been exactly a year since I checked my FAR test results for the CPA exams. It was my last exam. You guys know the whole story, but I had failed three audit exams. I spent 18 months studying and I took FAR on a whim at the end of the testing window so I can go ahead and just kind of try it out before I actually finished studying and took it in the next window. And from a miracle from the Lord himself, I passed with a 75 completely unexpected, had 0% chance of passing. I only made it through like seven units out of the 10 units for Becker. <sighs> so anyways, that was truly the best day ever. Like the best feeling. If I could relive that on any of my sad moments, I would be set for life. So anywho, I'm going to celebrate, although I'm very tired and I'm feeling kind of icky. My right ear is all stopped up. I don't know what's happening. I tried to take a nap. I only slept for like two hours last night, but I'm gonna go pick up some food and some cake and take it to my parents' house. And we're going to have a party <laughs> because I said so. <laughs> First stop, you guys, party supplies. If you guys remember, this is the first place I went after I passed the CPA exam because I brought a party to work. Some of those blowy things. They didn't have normal party hats. They had these unicorn hats. I got some more of these. I went all out last year and made my coworkers celebrate a party with me. All right, you guys, I got wacky string, and one balloon, and one candle. Some weird party hats that we had at my work party and some blowy thingies. None of this stuff matches. Nothing goes with any theme. I'm just getting random party stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. What a small world. You guys, my cashier at this Dollar General is a CPA in California. She still pays her fees to be an active license, but she never transferred it to Tennessee. And she just likes to activate it just to say she's a CPA. She took the exams back in 1980 something. She's like, I am so proud of you. She said it took me seven tries to get it. And they had to take it back when they had a clump it together in like one day take all the parts anyways really cool all right you guys next stop is kroger for the cake regular cheesecake with strawberry glaze that way people are gonna have regular or they're gonna have strawberry <laughs> all right guys i was about to get a normal cake like a normal party but i don't really like cake and it's my party so i decided to get a cheesecake also completely random but i ordered this off of some girl that makes them from my a friend of a friend so if you guys want a random little rainbow car hangy thingy that has essential oils up here then i'll leave a link in the description completely unrelated to the video but it's here and it's super cute and i love it a lot it helps the small business she sells it for 15 dollars and includes shipping domestic only next step is dinner i said step like i'm in an auto program next stop is dinner i'm picking up some petros for the fam and they're not huge on chili like i am but they gave me their orders so i guess they're okay with it <laughs> i'm sweating it's so freaking hot i hate summer petros and now we're ready to go to the party. <laughs> hey, Konog, are you ready for the party? Are you ready? He's such a cute, cuddly boy. Oh, and your kids. There's Wrangler. Fitting through the tiny doggy door. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you doing? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm gonna take that away from you now. <laughs> now look at these birdies my parents have. The baby birdies hatched. All right, you guys, I just made it back to my apartment. It is almost midnight. I did not plan on staying over there long, but we just had a grand old time celebrating and I stole the gidge. So I took one of my parents' dogs, my favorite dog in the whole world. So in reflection over this last year, it has been so indescribable. It's really been such a great year full of so many blessings and not having to study has been so much sweeter than I even imagined it would be. I have been studying my entire life from kindergarten all the way through the CPA exams with no breaks 
So it's been really nice to literally go to work and then to actually have free time when I come home instead of having to study. I know people talk all the time about, you know, how having a CPA is so prestigious and it puts you above and beyond everybody else. Really, and it does, but also just the respect that you get from your audit clients or even just peers or other business professionals that you meet and network with. Once you say you're a CPA, there really is a whole other level of respect. I think that newfound respect was something I definitely was not anticipating, or at least I didn't expect it to be so profound. So that's like a nice little perk. <laughs> I talked about this some in my six months as a CPA reflection video back in December, but I've really gone through a really deep spiritual awakening is the best way I can word it. After the CPA exams, because of God's promise to me to get me through those exams, I knew it was something I was called to do. I knew it was something that was gonna be extremely challenging, but also since I didn't need the CPA for my job per se, it was a whole extra challenge or motivation to force myself to go through the process. And I struggled so hard through those exams. It was truly the hardest time of my life by no measure were coming close. It made college look like a joke. Those CPA exams were miserable and I just am so proud of myself. I'm so thankful, so blessed that it only took me 18 months, which is a long time when you read these stories of people finishing it in two months or three months or a few weeks. I've read of people on another 71 that's taken them like six or seven years to get through the exams where they take a little break and they lose all their credit or they can't pass a certain one. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm just very thankful because my test taking ability is just not there. So the fact that I was able to make it through and I passed three of the exams on the first try which is absurd considering I failed audit three times and I'm an auditor. <laughs> I will never get over that joke with myself. You guys know the scene in Finding Nemo when the fish have been dying to get out of the fish tank the whole time and then they finally make their way into the ocean and they're all in the bags floating in the water and then one of them says now what? Come on, Peach. <laughs> <laughs> now what? That's the theme of how I felt this last year. The first few months were like I was on this high of adrenaline of wanting to do everything that I've missed out on the last 18 months. I wanted to travel. I wanted to try all these new hobbies. I wanted to read all these books. But then as that kind of mellowed out and it was becoming normal for me to have all this free time, I struggled with not reaching towards something, not having a goal to achieve. And I've completed the biggest goal to me. So I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining at all. I'm very, very thankful to be here. But it is hard for me as a goal-oriented person to not have have a goal that I'm working towards. And as far as career development or work advancement, I'm very happy in my current position at work, so I don't plan to leave or go anywhere else. In fact, I actually interviewed with what I thought was my dream job back in November. I went through the entire interview process. It was very thorough, very intense, very intimidating, very long and scary interview, but I made it all the way through and I actually got offered the job. And so I prayed about it. It didn't really feel, it just didn't feel right. And I, I can't really, I can't explain it because because still when I read the job description and I hear about what they do, I'm like, absolutely, I wanna do that. But it doesn't feel right and I have to trust my gut. I'm definitely trusting the call that the Lord has on my heart. So yeah, I don't plan to go anywhere else as far as work at this exact moment. Gidget, can you quit puking during the video, baby? Are you okay? Ghost. <laughs> baby, you all right? And then I started the whole kickboxing journey where I made it through 30 classes and that was like a goal that I was working towards. And it was very intense. I'm so proud that I made it through because that was really hard. But as far as like this long reaching goal, I don't have anything. I do not want to go back to school whatsoever. I have no intentions on getting a master's degree. I also do not want any more certifications at the moment. And I was supposed to be going to Africa this summer and that was going to be great. Five weeks long, probably life changing. And that probably would have changed my heart some, but because of Corona that didn't happen. So I'm kind of like in this swinging in the boat going with the flow in life right now so that's that's where i'm at at the moment and that's just being a hundred percent honest so yeah got my cpa biggest goal ever but now it's kind of like what's next you know what's out there for me so i'm definitely praying every day about it and i'm sure that the lord will reveal in his timing um, of what he wants me to do next and i'm very confident that his plan will be greater than any of my own plans anyways i just wanted to be honest about that i should probably go to bed because it's after midnight now so thank you guys so much for watching do not give up if you're staying for the cpa exams i am your cheerleader i know what you're going through it is so hard trust me i cried more in those 18 months that I've ever cried in my entire life. Very challenging, you will get through it. It will be the best feeling ever. It will be so rewarding and that's something no one can take away from you unless you commit fraud, embezzlement or you lose your license, but that's your own fault. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.